very appropriate for the weather today. I absolutely love this. This is so cute. I'm thinking about how weird it's going to be with my bum cheek spread, but it weirdly wasn't weird. Oh my god, I look like I've had some badass filler. I think I'm right in saying they are the Levi 501s. Hey, jolly good morning to you all, everyone. Oh my God, I am actually shaking. I haven't eaten this morning. It's not actually that late, it's like half 10. And yeah, I don't know, I've got like the shakes a little bit, but I'm in the biggest rush. I swear I spend my whole life in a rush. God knows what's gonna happen to me when I eventually have children and have to get them ready as well as myself because that's gonna be a shock to the system. Anyway, today I am going to see Dr. Nina, who is my skin doctor, but I also have Profilo done with her. I don't know if I've ever spoken to you guys on YouTube about Profilo, but I've definitely spoken about it on Instagram, but I just thought I would take you along to the appointment and show you what it's all about. Anyway, as I say, I'm in a rush, that's why I'm speed talking. I need to go and jump in a cab and I have half an hour to get to where I need to go, which I know sounds like a lot, but in London it takes you like half an hour to get two miles, so we need to be quick. <laughs> literally grabbed a baby bell because I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I have injection in my face. <laughs> so I grabbed this and I'm just on the way now. I am so shit at vlogging when there's like people around because it just makes me like really self-conscious. So I've just been to see Dr. Nina. I don't really know why I didn't vlog with her though because I feel so comfortable with her, but I feel like we were chatting so much. But I've just had my profilo done. As you can see, look at my cheeks. <laughs> This isn't like a filler as such. This is a hyaluronic acid that goes underneath your skin and it makes your skin look like really glowy and stuff. I've had it done before, but when you first have it done, it makes your cheeks look like this and it gives you like little lumps on the side of your head, almost like mosquito bites. So at the minute, it looks like I've had some dodgy filler. I have not, just to warn you all. I've also had it done on my neck as well. So it kind of looks like I've been stung and this will all go down. And basically it just makes your skin, like I just said, look glowy. But right now I kind of look a little bit crazy. I'm actually meant to be going to meet my friend for lunch. <laughs> so I don't really know if I can go out looking like this, but I'll obviously keep you updated with this. But last time I had it done, I absolutely loved the results. And yeah, it just gives you like this glow that you've never had before. The only thing I would say with Profilo, it is more painful than getting fillers in my opinion. It's like a stinging pain, but I kind of like pain, especially pain from needles, which is a little bit weird, I know. So it never really bothers me that much. But I would say if you haven't got a high pain threshold, you probably would like squirm a bit. She does use numbing cream and stuff though, that does really help. By the way, Dr. Nina is also my skin doctor. So I have her to thank for the fact that my skin looks so much better than it used to. Can't get over this shelf. It's a little bit windy, so I hope you can hear me. But I went for Nando's with my friend. What is that floating? Oh my god, I'm going to show you in a minute, but I went for Nando's with my friend and then I decided, you know what, it's a beautiful day and so I'm going to walk home because why not? It's a bit of a trek, but I've done most of the jobs I needed to do today. I just got really early this morning and did them. I didn't tell you that on vlog, but I have been up early this morning doing stuff. I'm glad I'm walking because it's making me extremely happy. I've got my music on and I just thought I'd show you a beautiful view from where I am. By the way, this is what I saw floating, but it's a log on the River Thames. The River Thames is glistening today, and this is the bridge behind me here. I think, I might be wrong, someone's probably about to tell me I'm wrong in the comments, but I think it's Battersea Bridge. Said that with a lot of hesitation. Or is it Chelsea Bridge? I'm unsure. There's a plane up there, an American plane. I wonder where you're going, because I want to be on there as well. Good morning everybody. Guess where I am? Do we recognise this background? I'm back home at my parents. It feels so nice to be here, I can't lie. Like, I actually love coming home. I get excited to come back. So I got back last night, I drove home really late because when you drive at night time, like from London, the traffic's so much better. So it only took me like an hour and a half to get home where sometimes it can take me like three hours when the traffic's bad. So yeah, it was a really good journey home. I had a good night's sleep and I'm off to the hairdressers today. I just want to give you like a little profilo update because last time you saw me, I just had it done. So it's now two days since I had it done. I have got a little bit of bruising where the needle went in here and I've also broken out slightly on my cheek here, which is a little bit weird, but I think if I remember rightly that happened last time and then it kind of settles down. You do go back for a second treatment though, four weeks after the first one and that's when you see like the real results. 
Anyway, just to give you an update on my neck. So I have like these two really deep lines on my neck. I've always had these lines on my neck, but obviously it makes it worse. The fact that now we're always like this on our phones. So yeah, I have like that neck issue. Anyway, you can see I've got a little bit of bruise in there as well. I bruise really easily anyway. So like, I'm not surprised I bruise. I often bruise when I get like Botox and stuff like that done as well. Um, this side of my neck though, honestly, the lines have gone down so much. Like I can already see like a real improvement in my neck. So I'm excited to keep getting this done because dr nina said that it will improve my necklines so much anyway i am now off to the hairdressers i don't really know what to do i'm kind of undecided like part of me wants to get like really blonde again but i actually quite like having this root and it actually makes my life so much easier so then i don't have to keep getting my hair done because the root's already there do you know what i mean i always usually have a root but like not this much of a root so i'm thinking i want to like brighten it up around my face a little bit but leave it a bit i don't know so guys, it's so loud in here. I have a mask on, the hairdryers are going and also the lighting is not great on camera, but I just want to show you like the current situation with my hair. It's actually kind of short for me after I did my little home um, cutting, <laughs> the kitchen scissors. But as you can see, my roots are super dark. So we're just gonna like freshen it up. Um, I'm actually gonna keep the whole balayage look because I actually quite like it. But I just put a little bit more foil through it. And yeah, I'll show you when it's done. Here is a little update for you all guys once again. Sorry about the sound. Um, so we have, oh, it's gone off now. Um, we have done a little bit of balayage. Some highlights, I say we. I have not done this at all. My best friend Chantel always does my hair. So Chantel <laughs> has done balayage and then highlights. Um, we've kind of like kept my root a little bit, but just bought the blonde up slightly like I said we was going to. Um, obviously now, yeah, I'm just sat in foils waiting to have it all washed off. My hair takes quite a lot to lift, she always tells me that. Um, so yeah, I have to sit here like a little bit longer than most people. I'm excited to see the outcome and just have it all like freshened up. Hello everyone. It has been a few days since I last left you. I think the last place we were was in the hairdressers and I didn't actually show you the end result of my hair. But here we are. Here we are. <laughs> here we are. This is my kind of like, well, it's not really new hair because it's basically the hair I always have, but just freshened up. I'm so happy with it. We cut quite a bit off the length. Um, which it really really needed and it just feels like really good condition the only thing I have to say I'm really trying to get used to are these blonde bits at the front of my hair basically you guys might remember but I used to be so blonde like all over and I like my face better when I'm blonde this might not make sense to anyone <laughs> but I like how I look blonde but I prefer how my hair looks with like different colors in it does that make sense my face looks better when I'm all blonde so what we tried to do is frame my face with a little bit of blonde but i just feel like the contrast is quite a lot but i think i'm just like trying to get used to it i'm always like that to be honest whenever i first get my hair done it takes me a little bit of getting used to before i'm like yeah i like it now like i need to like wash it a few times style it a few times myself and then it just kind of feels normal but yeah that's my new hair as i say i'm sorry i didn't show you so much when i was in the salon but the lighting in there was really rubbish and it was also really loud as well anyway i am back in london now um today i'm actually off to meet a few friends it is monday the 17th so the restaurants in the uk are open inside including my parents restaurant they're back open today which is great because they've been shut for like six months along with so many other restaurants in the uk so today is a great day and i'm actually meeting some friends and we're going for a bit of lunch in shoreditch in a restaurant that i've actually been to before but not for ages by the way can you believe i'm wearing a knit jumper in may it's currently like torrential rain here and is meant to be that for the foreseeable but we won't talk about that kind of negativity and we'll just pretend that the weather is glorious but yeah knit jumper in may what is going on i just thought i'd quickly show you before i leave my outfit of the day in the mirror so i have got on my top shop jeans which i absolutely love these these are the straight leg ones i showed you in my top shop haul i've worn them so much on my instagram and honestly lived in them in real life <laughs> as well and then i've got on my jordan one mockers i've got on a white tee which is from everlane and then obviously the knit jumper which is from top shop but like last season i'm just gonna wear this with my little palm springs mini and yeah not a very spring summer outfit but very appropriate for the weather today 
Okay. Now I did have this, but now I'm this. What, just show the pizza box of the yeah, leftovers? Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Guys, I said I was going to like film our lunch, but basically we went to Gloria, what's it called? Gloria Tutorial in Shoreditch. It's so nice. Oh, here we go. This is our leftovers. Hang on, just wait for the focus on the pizza. <laughs> Travel pasta was unbelievable. Basically, as always, I completely forgot to record. I was just so hungry. And um, yeah, we had starters, made courses, had the work. Oh, even dessert. I had two receipts for dessert. And I just completely and utterly forgot to record. So just to prove that I'm here with my friends, you probably none of them want to be on vlog. Um, but yeah. Josh, do some kind of performance for the vlog. <laughs> Try and make it exciting because I haven't actually vlogged for three hours. <laughs> just here with his pizza. <laughs> Travel pizza. <pizza. laughs> <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> we like it with a wet pizza, honey. We love it. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a train approaching. Fast approaching on platform. Hot waters. Good morning, everyone. So, I left you yesterday. I went out with my friends afterwards. I actually just went to their house for a bit. Such a nice day, and it was like so nice to have a little bit of normality. And by the way, Gloria's, I kind of already mentioned it, but they have one in Shoreditch. They're part of the Big Mama group, so they have them in Paris as well. I don't they have them in other locations in the world, but they definitely have them in France. Um, and they also have Circo popolo or something like that it's called in london too they're always so hard to get into but they are the nicest restaurants the food is so good value for money like atmosphere everything is 10 out of 10 so if you can never get into one of them i fully recommend it i look very very shiny this morning anyway guys you are not going to believe what the time is it is currently 5 53 and <laughs> Yes, in the morning, 5.53 a.m. Last night I set an alarm because I need to get into a new routine of getting out of bed in the morning. I never need to get out of bed until about 9.30 and I am that bitch that literally snoozes my alarm until the very last minute and I don't want to be that person anymore. The thing is as well, there's so much wasted day in the morning. Like, I've got four hours now before I start work which is crazy and I feel like I just need to use my time better. So anyway, even though I'm absolutely effing and knackered, <laughs> what actually made me get out of bed, I thought this was quite a clever idea, so I'm gonna share it with you all. Last night, by the way, I'm so pale because I'm having laser tonight and I had to scrub off all my fake tan. I didn't actually need to scrub it off my arms because I'm not getting my arms lasered, but I needed to scrub it off of like the rest of my body and I just thought, oh, I may as well just do it all at the same time, otherwise I'm gonna be all patchy. So yeah, I look very pale. <laughs> um, but yeah, what I did last night before I went to bed is I I plugged my phone in i'll show you over there which is right by the door by the way ignore the mess well this isn't actually a mess because this is strategic as well is that how you say the word but that is my gym gear so when my alarm went off this morning it was actually a really good idea because i jumped out of bed to go and turn it off and my gym gear was all there and i feel like for me it's the getting out of bed that's the hard bit but once i'm out of bed i'm just kind of like well i'm up now so that's what i did set my alarm for 5 30 and here I am. <laughs> so anyway, I have got about five minutes before I need to leave. I've got myself a honey and lemon tea. Honestly, who is this bitch? I do not know. Um, this is usually me, but like at about 9.45. And um, yeah, gonna head to my class. So hopefully it's good. Here I am, made it to the lift, and this is my outfit of the gym sesh. I've got on my Gymshark body warmer, which I love so much, I wear all the time. I think it's sold out. Gymshark seamless vital leggings, also wear all the time. And then, just checking there's no one here, um, my Nike Vapor Max trainers. And my Whole Foods bag, because you know, fashion is key. Um, and I'm that person now, I'm actually gonna go to Whole Foods after I've finished my class. Bye! It feels so weird being out at this time. Like, it kind of feels like night time. There's like no one around. There's one person walking a dog and one guy just ran past me. That's it. I kind of thought there was gonna be loads more people out and about. I thought people got up early, especially in London. But yeah, apparently not. Also, it is so cold. I mean, you've just seen what I have on, by the way. I don't know where to look because I'm actually filming on my phone. Um, yeah, it's so cold, like it's freezing. It's the end of May. 
and it's Baltic and it's so windy. Like, what is going on? I'm just, yeah, I'm so over this weather. Take me to Spain. <laughs> the price of broccoli in Whole Foods. Like, sorry, what? What I will say is that everything does taste better from Whole Foods, but that's probably because it's so much money. But um, yeah, I don't know, it just tastes so much fresher. Like, look how much this asparagus is. Six pounds. <laughs> look at all of like the cheese section though. I really do love this shop. I mean, I moan about the price, but it was always my dream. I always used to say it to my friends. I want to live in London and shop at Whole Foods. And here I bloody am. I mean, I've made it. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of joking, but yeah, it does feel pretty special sometimes. Shopping at Whole Foods always reminds me of being younger. And used to go to Canada every year with my parents. Look at that bit of hair, by the way. And um, we always used to go to Whole Foods before we went skiing. <laughs> Such like a Canadian American thing, but yeah, I love this shop. I'm home. I'm going to show you what I got because. I don't know, I think it's like maybe slightly sad for me to say, but I love looking at what people buy at the shop. <laughs> By the way, if I showed you this soap, I can't remember if I did, but my friend, for my birthday, I feel like I've said that about so much stuff, but I am very lucky, but my friend for my birthday knew I wanted this soap. So when I moved in, I wanted to treat myself, but like I'd just bought so much other stuff. I'm sorry if I've already told you this in another vlog, by the way, but... They bought me this soap. So it's from this brand. It's called Beren Berendo. I have no idea how to say it. If someone could tell me in the comments, that would be fabulous. So they got me the hand cream and the um, soap as well. Smells unbelievable. So this is in the rose scent. Honestly, smells so good. And looks very kind of suave next to my sink. Anyway, this is what I picked up. I actually went to Sainsbury's as well because as much as I love Whole Foods, you can't be doing whole shops in there because it's so expensive. To be honest, I really wish there was like an Audi or a Lidl close to me because I would save a lot of money. <laughs> okay, let's start with Whole Foods because it's on the top. I got a green juice. I actually had this the other day and it tasted like shit, but it's got like loads of veggies in it and I feel like I don't really get enough of that. I picked up this carrot cake because I haven't told you guys, but well, the reason I haven't said it so far in the vlog is because... Oh my God, I'm choking. I didn't really know if I was going to go until today, but I'm going to see my nan. I have not seen my nan since Christmas of 2019 because she lives in Coventry. Obviously, because of COVID, we couldn't see her. It's got to a point where she's had both her vaccines. She's as safe as she could possibly be. I need to see her. Like, she's 85. I miss her so much, and I have a free weekend this weekend, so I'm going to drive to Coventry to surprise her. Oh, my watch is telling me to end my workout. Um, so yeah, so I bought her a carrot cake because she loves carrot cake and all of this stuff in this bag is basically for me to take to Coventry with me because my nan never really has food that I eat. So, and also I thought I'd get her some like bits that she likes so we can have like a nice breakfast and stuff. I got a pack of these little moons, which I slagged off not long ago, but since trying them again when they're not melted on Deliveroo, I really like them. So I love the pistachio ones and the passion fruit ones and my fave. Then I got some of these hummus chips, the chive and sour cream ones. Love those. Some gluten-free bread because I do try and breed gluten-free and my nan definitely isn't going to have that. I got an avocado. The avocados from Whole Foods are so good. I got this chocolate to try. It's from Delicious Ella and it says roasted and salted almonds, hazelnuts and cashews. And I just thought it looked kind of nice. Some peppermint tea, I actually got two of those, one for here and one for my nans. Some watermelon, the best hummus in the world. This is the one with pine nuts, Sabra, I think that's how you say it. I picked up some goo pots because basically I just really like them and I know my nan loves a little treat. Then I got cherry tomatoes, smoked salmon, and oh, and the avocado, that's because tomorrow morning I'm gonna make us breakfast. My nan loves those kind of breakfasts but she never buys herself like smoked salmon and stuff like that. She'll have eggs, so yeah, I'm gonna make her a little bit of breakfast. That is the only thing I can pretty much cook. Some cheese strings because 
I am 10. <laughs> Carrot sticks for my hummus, a bag of easy peel or oranges, and oh, another treat for my nan, a trifle thing because I just know she'll like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get myself showered and ready. I'm in a slight rush because I actually have an event this afternoon, well, this morning. It's at Peggy Portion with Dr. Nina because she's bringing out like a new face serum. So that should be exciting. I'm probably not gonna vlog it because I'm just useless when I'm out. But when I get home, I've actually got some deliveries to open with you all. And this afternoon, have something else really exciting happening because I'm having laser. Did I mention that already this morning? But yeah, I'm having everything lasered off my body. So I am gonna take you along to that though. One more thing before I get in the shower. This actually tastes a lot nicer than it did the first time. I don't know if the first time was just a shock that it actually tastes like grass, but um, yeah, it's not bad. And I am ready to go. Makeup has gone okay this spot is kind of ruining my vibe it is kind of on the way out though now which is great i've also done my hair today with the dyson actually loving the color of my hair a lot more than i did when i first got it done like i really liked it but like i said at the beginning i always think your hair looks better once you've washed it and styled it a few times yourself and i just think it starts to blend it out more as well so yeah i'm very happy with my hair now i am going to quickly show you my outfit it's nothing too exciting though okay so ignoring the state on the sofa but first up so i've just got a white tee on i actually bought this the other day from Zara really nice quality um, and it was really cheap as well then my jacket is also Zara I actually got this last summer but I think they do a really similar one this year so it's like a little crop blazer which I like then my jeans guys these are new for me i don't want to knock my vases over here but these are from very and they are a pair of levi's i think i'm right in saying they are the levi 501s they're actually my first ever pair of levi jeans i have a pair of levi shorts but these are my first ever pair of levi jeans and i can honestly say i am in love with them the fit is so good i actually sized down and got a 26 waist and yeah they fit perfectly like i absolutely love them this is actually the second time i've worn them out this week so yeah they're rivaling my top shop ones they were a lot more expensive than the top shop ones though but they're levi's so you know then my shoes actually i completely forgot to show you those are my prada loafers and then my bag is obviously my chanel trendy which a few months ago i was actually tempted to sell but one of my friends like convinced me to keep it and I'm so glad she did because I think I just had to get in my head. I just need to use it even though it scratches a bit. Just use it and yeah, I've been using her a lot. So yeah, that is the full outfit. Nothing too crazy but just something comfy and kind of timeless. So anyway, I need to go because I've got to get a cab. I'm in a rush and I have about five minutes to get there. This morning I have been to the loveliest little brunch. It's the first kind of event um like work event that i've been to since covid happened which makes me so happy because it makes me think that actually things are getting a little bit back to normality which is always like a great feeling you know because we love a bit of normality um, and we went to peggy portion and it was for my skin doctor who's dr nina who did my profilo which by the way update on the profilo i mean you can tell <laughs> i'm actually quite like glowy today a little bit oily if anything um Honestly, I love that treatment so much. Anyway, for the rest of today, I actually have a couple of hours where I just need to sort myself out slightly here. And then I'm heading for my first ever laser session. Well, it's my first ever laser session that I've had in London. I have previously had laser before in Kent. I had it done in my armpits and it was life changing. But because I didn't have many sessions because COVID happened, my hair grew back. But today I'm going to therapy because I asked you guys on Instagram if any of you recommended laser places in London and pretty much all of you said therapy. So I'm going to the one, they've got like clinics all over London. I'm going to the Victoria one. I'm having my armpits, my legs, and also my, I think it's called like Hollywood, which basically is your vagina. So I don't really know how I feel about getting my fanny out to like a complete stranger. But I mean, if it gives me a really smooth, mm -hmm, <laughs> then brilliant. <laughs> I want to actually quickly show you this. So, as I just said, I went to a brunch with Dr. Nina and some other lovely ladies to celebrate Nina's um, new like skincare product launch, which is so exciting. So, she has created her own product. How pretty is this? It's the first time I'm obviously opening this as well. And it's a skin serum that you can use daytime 
and night time and she was telling us all about it today so i'm super excited to try it out because she is literally the skin care queen um yeah how pretty is this as well i actually have some a few other bits to show you which i got this week so i've got a few new bits from nars including these lip glosses and actually today i was wearing let me go inside my bag and find the one that i'm wearing today it is this one so it looks like this it's kind of got like glitter in it but when it's on your lips it's not glittery but it's such a lovely color and it's also like a really really good gloss like i mean as in it's a good glossy look <laughs> does that make sense and then i also got the glosses in a couple of other colors as well and then this palette which has the most gorgeous shades in it. I feel like this dark brown, you see it in the bottom right hand corner. I think it would be really good for winged eyeliner. I prefer to do eyeliner personally with a powder rather than like an actual eyeliner, if you know what I mean. I just think it's so much more subtle and also easier to do. But yeah, that was really lovely that I got from NARS this week. And I also got a delivery that I'm actually really surprised at that it's just come through the door. And it's from MAC. And I also got the loveliest note in there as well. Here is the note that was inside. And it's from Lorna Lux. So she has done a collaboration with MAC. Which, I mean, is absolutely huge. So congratulations to you, Lorna. And let me show you what is inside. I love MAC. I have been a MAC fan for so many years. When I was younger and got my first job, I would save up all my money and I swear I spent all of my wages on MAC lipsticks. Like, that was always my thing. So it comes in a box like this and then inside the box is a bag and oh wow, it's even got like Lorna Lux written on the front. And then inside the bag, so I'm guessing these are some of Lorna's favourites but I have to admit this is one of my holy grail products a fix plus by mac is something that i cannot live without it's so great for just giving you like a dewy finish and also setting your makeup some of you might remember years ago when i used to wear eyelash extensions i used to put sunglasses on to put this on <laughs> og subscribers will remember that moment then we've also got a lipstick that has got lorna Lux on as well well this is actually goals wow i'm holding this card behind it so that the camera will focus and it is a really really gorgeous color there and then we have a little blusher and then there's a pumping lip gloss as well oh i'm excited to try that this is a dream collaboration can we just speak this into existence guys because i would love to do this with mac because i've been a fan forever oh actually one more thing that i got this week was some quarterly products i think i'm saying that right i might be saying it wrong i really 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 wanted to try their face oil because i use at night time one of those is it called a gua sha you know like the crystal that you kind of put along your jaw and on your face and i like to use an oil and i've heard the quarterly one is really great so i'm really really excited to try these products because well i'm really into my skincare and i've heard great things so i'll let you know how i get on with those so that was a really unplanned unboxing there for you all. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, I'm here. I'm in the waiting room. So nice in here. Look at these like big padded seats and it's kind of like hidden away. And here's like the shop front. So I am in the Victoria Clinic. Um, I don't really know why I chose here because Putney's actually closer to me. That's the closest clinic, but I just decided on Victoria and here I am. <laughs> I'm really nervous, like, it's gonna be such a weird thing, like fully getting my fanny out. I'll let you know how it goes. I might even film, obviously not, not the, not the noon, but um, yeah, I wonder if it's gonna be painful. When I last had laser, it's kind of painful. But I'm a bit of a weirdo, I kind of like pain. But I've heard the therapy clinics aren't so painful, so I'll let you know. Okay, really quick video, because I'm meant to be getting changed. Here is the bed. This is the laser machine, some cute sunglasses. It's really, really nice in here, and God, I'm nervous. I really thought this was gonna be so painful, but it's actually not even painful at all. Like, I feel like I'm on holiday with my sunglasses on. I honestly can't get over how easy that was. Like, I'm still in the room, I'm just getting changed, and it was like, 
pain free. Apparently like people who have different pain thresholds, so some people do find it kind of like painful. I had my lady parts, my bum, my legs, my armpits, all done. I feel fine, like absolutely fine. And it wasn't awkward at all, the girl was so nice. Her name is Jessica and she works at the Victoria Clinic. And it just like wasn't even awkward. You know when you think about it, like on the way here, I was actually like nervous thinking about what I was going to do. I'm thinking about how weird it's going to be with my bum cheek spread, but it weirdly wasn't weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to be like hair free, so it should go back like gradually now, and in six weeks I have to come back for another session, and then, yeah, I think I have to do like six sessions, and then I'll be as smooth as a dolphin for life. You have to have like the odd top up here and there, but how great is that? <laughs> I have just nipped into Zara because there is one conveniently opposite the laser clinic so I'm having a little look around so first up look how cute this top is love it and they've matched it with this skirt it's actually like a two-piece set um but they go perfectly together so the top is 29.99 which I think is a bargain would look really lovely with jeans if you didn't want to wear it with this skirt but I think it looks really gorgeous and this jacket's really lovely as well really not my style but it is really pretty I feel like this whole section here is very my mum vibes, like boho. <laughs> mum, if you're watching this, you'd probably agree. Um, but also really, really pretty. Absolutely love this top. I'm unsure if it's a dress though. This is a size extra large and I feel like I could get away with it as a dress and would look really nice with like a pair of heels. It's $49.99, so a little bit pricey, but it is really gorgeous with all like the crochet detail. I think it is just a shirt because this is a big one. It just looks quite big, but I'm tempted to buy it in an extra large and wear it like that. Hmm. Oh, I really, really, really love these shoes. <gasps> I think I might buy these. These would go perfectly with my sac de jour bag. Do you know the black mango ones I've got? I got them last summer. They sold out so quick. I feel like these are a great nude version. Oh, wow. I feel like I need these. Let's look at the price. $49.99. I don't think they're real leather though. These are like a really easy sandal as well. I used to have these last year in brown. And maybe it was even the year before. Or the year before that. I feel like Zara bring them out every single year. But I've never seen this colour before. Um, I kind of think I prefer the other ones. What about you guys? Do you prefer the other ones or these? Also, these brown ones are quite nice. But those obviously got a bit of a heel on them. But um, yeah, oh my god, they have so much nice stuff in here. I absolutely love this. This is so cute. So it's like the jacket top, like blazer kind of vibe, and then a pair of matching shorts. I mean, I think it's adorable. Like I love it so, so much. It looks so nice on holiday, but I'm not actually going on holiday. Look at the cute little matching shorts. I mean, look at the price. So the price on this one is $49.99. And on here is $25.99. And you know, this little silk dress would actually look really pretty with this blazer over the top of it as well. Not really my style, but could be really cute. Here's like another gorgeous set. So another crop blazer and it is $59.99. And then like culotte trousers that go with it. It's almost got like Chanel-esque vibes because it's kind of tweed, but it's really, really nice as well. Once again, the trousers aren't so much my style, but such a pretty blazer it also comes in this kind of like cropped version as well and they're both cropped but one has arms and one doesn't if that makes any sense and this one's 10 pound cheaper so 49.99 would look so lovely with a nice tan summertime vibes yeah really really like that something else that's really nice is this top here it doesn't really look too great on the hanger but it's like a linen vibe halter neck and it's backless it kind of gives me jacquemus vibes and I think it would look really lovely once again <laughs> with a tan um, and just like a pair of blue jeans. I have a garden party coming up and I think it could look quite nice for that if this weather sorts itself out. Love, love, love this chain so much. I've actually seen it a few times on Instagram. And another thing I've seen on Instagram are these scarves. So you can kind of like wear them as tops as well, but they're really cute just kind of to accessorize outfits. And yeah, I love this one in particular like really lovely colours. I don't know if I could personally pull it off as a top, but it'd be a nice idea. There's me, I'm filming on my phone so I don't get told off. <laughs> oh, some pink shoes, Bottega-esque vibes with the quilting 
kind of horrific but also kind of cute as well good evening friends i look a slight mess i walked back from the laser clinic and it absolutely poured with rain i got drenched like i had my hair like underneath my hood but um yeah it was just a little bit long and um, anyway i didn't actually end up buying anything in zara either but what i've decided is i'm gonna do like an online shop because there was so much stuff in there that I wanted. But I just find it easier just to shop online, you know? And then as well, you can easily send it back when you shop online. And if you buy in the store, you then have to queue up and go and take it back. Anyway, I'm in the middle of packing my stuff up to take to my nans. I am so hungry today. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I did a little order online and got a tortilla again. So it's a naked burrito. Um, do you remember I had one of these not so long ago in my vlogs? Um, I just really love them and I think they're kind of healthy-ish as well, which is great. Also got some tortilla chips and some guac as well. This is so heavy. <laughs> there must be so much food in it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit down, eat this, edit a Instagram photo. I need to finish editing a video and then I'm going to see my nan. I'm so excited to go see my nan. Do you know why? Number one, because I haven't seen her in like two years. But also... I just love going there and just being able to chill. Like, I don't have to do anything when I'm there. I just chill out, watch TV. Like, just can't wait. It's going to be so great. Anyway, I'm going to eat this. Well, I know what you're all thinking. I look stunning. I know. Like, honestly, my makeup. Look, look how nice it looks. I actually look like trash. It is so late. I didn't actually end up making it to my nan's tonight. I had so much to do. I'm just finishing editing this vlog that you are now watching. And it's currently 20 to 1 in the morning. I'm going to set my alarm for 6am. And I'm going to drive to Coventry. So yeah, my plan didn't really go to plan tonight. But she still doesn't know I'm going. It's kind of a good thing I didn't tell her. Otherwise she would have thought I was coming tonight. But anyway, I'm going to surprise her in the morning. And tomorrow I am starting a whole new vlog. So hopefully I will see you in that one. As always guys, thank you so much for watching if you've got this far. And I hope so much I'll see you in my next video. Love to you all. Take care. Bye bye.